Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So in today's video, I will be doing some trash to treasure makeovers, always a favorite of mine. In my trash to treasure videos, I like to take maybe three items or projects and turn them into something beautiful. Um, a lot of the items aren't actually trash, even though I call it, you know, trash to treasure, but some people may deem it as trash or a lot of the items I actually just pick up from people that were going to pitch it and they knew that I, you know, do this sort of thing and those are always so much fun. And then some of the items, of course, I just pick up in thrift stores. Uh, like this first one here is a little case. I'm not even quite sure what it would have been used for. Maybe a file box or something, but it is green on the outside and it has this bright red color on the inside. I've had it sitting around here for a while already and just haven't you know, gotten around to it, but I thought this would be a fun little project to redo in this video. And then beside me here, I have this bird cage. Some of you may remember this from a thrifting video from maybe last fall, possibly. I picked it up for $12 in a local thrift store. I love bird cages, and I think this one may end up on our front porch. Not quite sure yet. See how it turns out. So the last project I have here is behind me, an old crib that someone uh, brought me. And first when I saw it, I thought, I probably turn it into a bench or a chair or you know something like that. You kind of see those on Pinterest sometimes. But recently I've been eyeing it and I think I may be able to turn it into an arbor. I know it sounds far out and I have no idea will it turn out, but I'm going to give it a shot guys. See how it goes. So join me as I work on all these projects and I hope you guys enjoy. So the first thing I want to do for this arbor to be is kind of get a general measurement of how tall I want it to be and I think in this case I'm going to assume that whoever ever has this arbor and if it does you know even turn out uh, will use maybe stakes to hold it in place so I really just need it to be you know level with the ground and I won't allow for extra uh, you know height to get uh, some of the two by fours into the ground if that makes sense. I feel like 80 inches would be about right uh, guys, I feel so creeped out right now. I just got finished killing a snake. Uh, my cat Pebbles was outside and she kind of uh, was chasing it and it started crawling into the shop here. It was a large garter snake and I just grabbed the first thing available which happened to be one of these 2x4s and I killed it. always hate to do that but um, I just could not bear the thought of it being around lurking about here. Um, I probably should have recorded all this. You guys probably would have been entertained by it but whew. Glad that's done. So for good measure here, I am making them 81 inches just to make sure I have that clearance. Uh, we are not too short here. So these spindles from the sides of the crib here, I want to be the side of my arbor but they are spaced too close together. So what I'm gonna do is just remove them from the actual you know, crib side here and then just attach them to my sides and space them accordingly to reach my you know, 81 inches. I will be using my hacksaw to do that. I will be using my air pinner or nailer to fasten the spindles onto the 2x4s. Once I have them fastened, I will be screwing each end into the 2x4 just to make sure it's nice and secured. We are blessed here with having an awesome air system. I'm not sure if I talked about this before or not, but my dad had actually set it up for us where we have a large air tank or a storage tank up in our attic of the brown shop. And then up here in this space where I'm working, we have the air compressor that you know, keeps the air in the tank. We have access to it, you know, down in the brown shop and then in the house also and then up here in this shop. It's really handy, you know, if I you know, spray paint or in this case use my pinner and then also you know, air for tires.
since I want to use the end piece of the crib as a gate, I will need to make my arbor the same width. All right, so this is the top of the arbor here, and right now it is measuring 30 and a half inches, which is exactly how wide my gate will be. But I do want my top pieces to overhang maybe by about six inches. I think that just adds to anything to give it kind of an overhang. Since I want the width to be 30 and a half, and I need to add that 12 inches onto there, I would need my top two by fours to be 42 and a half inches. The paint I'll be using for my arbor is a Do It Best brand. Um, it's semi-gloss exterior. The color is spectral. I'll be running it through my sprayer. I did water it down just a bit for that. I didn't get this on video, but I plan to apply a clear coat to this arbor, like an oil base. Probably one of those, I'll probably just buy one of the cans of you know clear coat you can get at Walmart or your hardware. Also, Rust-Oleum brand, um, I know if it's oil-based, it'll just repel the water better. And I realize these spindles are not you know, made for outdoor use, so I thought that would uh, make them last longer if I apply that. Just to keep this arbor a little more sturdy, I decided to fasten these braces onto the top. Fastening the hinges here to this gate is pretty much guesswork here. Not sure is it going to work out or not since some of my hinges will be on the rounded part and some on the square. But I'm going to go ahead and fasten them and we'll see how it works. So I plan to line this box with either a contact paper or wallpaper and what I'm doing here is just tearing off whatever is loose of the red liner they had in here. I often 
can use this wallpaper for my project. I'm sure you've probably seen it many times before, but I just love it. Um, it's easy to apply and it is available on my Etsy shop if you are interested in any. I feel like this piece needs some words on it like I often do with my projects. Um, I made this decal and it is also available on my Etsy shop. Decided since I'm painting anyway, I'll just throw this bonus in here um, and paint these springs that were with the crib. Um, I'm sure you guys have seen this before on maybe Pinterest that people kind of use this for maybe a memo board, um, use little clothespins to attach, you know, photos, or you could also use it to dry flowers with. I am distressing this piece using a paint marker. decided to glue some jute cord onto the base of this cage. See how that looks. Um, I have all these scraps left over anyway from uh, you know, making planters for the Etsy shop. We have pieces that we can't really use for those, so I thought it would be a good way to use those up.
I hope you all enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, before ending it, I wanted to mention um, I do still have some summer scents available from our candle line on the Etsy shop. Um, I'm not going to reorder some of the summer scents until next year. So if you're still wanting to burn peach nectar, coconut, and a rosemary sage, make sure to head on over to my shop. Place your order since I only have a limited amount available. I hope you're all having a great day, and I look forward to seeing you in next week's video. Bye! Mm -hmm.